Hey, yo, what's up, my dudes and dudettes? Today I'm going to be doing Strap Foam. This is an instance I... I'm, I may have done this before. I don't know. Probably not. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I actually did this instance before, so... Without further ado, let's get right into it. I mean, I probably have before, but... This time I'm doing the instance to get them out. Because... Because, good news, there's a mountain in this instance! Yeah! And this is the only classic dungeon, classic instance, to have a mount. Yeah! How lovely. Oh no, the living are here. <laughs> like, I'm considered as the living. The living. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no. These mailboxes. If you try to take the mail, these um there's a secret bosses instance if you try to some some of the I know taking mail is bad. But if you do it, you, you unlock a secret boss. And it's kind of cool. So let's see. So we do this. I know if. I, I think I've done this instance before, but I don't think I've shown. The, I don't think I've looted the final boss last time I did this, so. I'm probably. We done this a long time ago, but I'm remastering it now, so yeah. This is kind of like a remaster. But as you can see, the mailboxes are really hidden. I didn't even get the mail, and these guys are already coming after me. They're like, "No tampering the mail! Don't you dare tamper our mail, boy!" Oh, it's a boss fight here. Oh, anyways, it, you're done for. Donezos. Goodbye. By the way, the boss is Postmaster Malone, if you didn't know. He's like, prepare to be Malone, bro. Yeah. Bro died. Oh, no. These guys make a big thud when they drop. Oh, there's another secret boss right here. This guy. Harsinga Force, then. Say goodbye, buddy. Tell uh, Spectral Citizens, by the way. Eh, uh, good old Timmy the Cool. Oh, sorry, buddy. So all these guys. Oh. They were spread out far enough to not get all of them at once. Oh yeah, well, it was close enough. Alright. Here we go. Let's get a little bit of... A little bit of a huck to Gotta get a little... I'm gonna, I gotta get a little huck to Gotta get a little huck to Is Commander Malor? This leads to another optional boss, which is down here. There's a lot of secret bosses in this instance. I mean, this one is more of an optional than secret boss. See, I mean, he's easy to access, but you don't need to defeat him. So that's why I said he's optional. He's really hope breaker. What he says when you first engage with him is fire because he's a cannoneer. Anyways, let's get up to the area. Oh, sorry guys, I think I forgot to. I, I no, I think I said hi earlier. I forgot. I, 
I mean, I, I know I just did to do that, but sometimes you forget things really quickly if you know what that is means. If not, oh well. Some optional NPCs in here. I mean, there's not that. And an optional boss right next door. This guy is Instructor Galford. What are these? I have never seen these guys before. Also some optional monks. More monks in there. Looks like these guys came out of nowhere. And here's... This is not the final boss of the instance. His name is... Bal... Balnazar? Yeah. He's... He's a... He's supposedly a dreadlord. His kind, his kin name is known as Nafrazim. Nafrazims are these like gigantic winged dudes, dudes with wings. Wow. They changed the way this instance works. They they re, they kind of revamped the way this instance works. And here's where I got. Well, you used to have to go through two different instances of two separate wings of this instance, but now you can do both of those at the same time. Anyways, this is the second wing of the instance. If you're fast enough, this is this guy that tries to run away from you, which his name is Magister. Okay, these guys are attacking me. I gotta get them out for. His name is Magister Bartholus. Bartholus. If you catch up, nobody he he's nobody he outruns you, and you can't defeat him in time. No, he, here's the usual spot he exists at, all the way over here. If you are fast enough, you can get him as soon as you get to the beginning of this instance, if you time it just right. This wing has a whole separate amount types of NPCs. So many different. There's a lot of NPC type. Oh, this is the Banshee boss right there. Oh, if you oh you want to if you do want to know how to get to the final boss. You first gotta deactivate these like crystal things. This is a bunch of these NPCs hang lingering around here, just hanging out around here. I mean, you don't have to get every single one, but I like to do it just for the extra measures. Is this water poisonous? No, it doesn't actually damage you. I mean, it is supposed to damage. It's supposed to kill you, but I mean, it's it's not real life. So if if it was real life, it would probably kill me. But I mean, come on, come on. I know it definitely would have killed me if it was in real life, but that was a real life. So poison does exist in real life and it could kill you.
This guy is a humanoid um, necromancer boss. There's not as many NPCs in this section. You have to see there's this there's some f force down there that's saying every time you destroy a crystal whoever some unknown entity always keeps saying and that shari crystal has been destroyed These like gargoyles keep lingering across us at instance. I like to I like to get MP these I like to take out these NPCs in advance so when I come back here later with that gate open I won't have to like run back and get them again. By the way, just like in the first wing, I think in the first wing you fight these like plagued insects. I forgot to show that, but hopefully I can make it up by showing it this time. Oh, they just dropped out of combat. That's just ridiculous. All right, you can't move on. You have to kill them to move, on, make progress, and they're always hostile to you. These are hostile insects, by the way, because they've been blighted. By the plague. It's a necromancer. That's an intimidating role. I think there's, um, yeah, I think there's a singular gargoyle I probably missed. He's probably patrolling across the entire prep. Yeah, there he is. He moves so fast, I have to loop around to get him. See? I literally had to loop around just to get that one gargoyle. It's just ridiculous. These gargoyles move at ridiculous speeds. If you imagine, there's a bunch of them patrolling across this area. Perimeter of this area. I guess the other, this boss is a This, this is a spider boss. <laughs> to anyone who has arachnophobia, you can gladly skip this part. This part where the arachno boss shows up. For anyone who has arachnophobia, you don't have to look at this guy. Because he may be scary to you. Be, you could skip guess. Because people who have the because people who have arachnophobia can be could can have a chance of being actually scared of spiders. So anything that is a spider, like related anything that's also related to a spider can trigger their fear. You probably give them some spider PTSD. I don't know. I mean, I, I that's all I, I I'm trying my best to know the truth about that. But, you know. well, these these abominations sound different. The bow, the bow spear was spawned like a little slime companion when you try to get them down. Would you try to take out the slime, the bow spears? They spawned in the little slime. Oh, the next boss is an abomination of all things. How hilarious! Also, he's just. I mean, if I was his level, he would still be easy to take out. Oh, look. Afterwards, a big army of mindless undead try to come at me. That's a lot of these guys. The normally, if I was the level, it would be actually kind of hard, or maybe impossible. These these guys are sentries. All right. So the f here's the final boss. No other than Lord Everest Riverdeer himself. And I think I got a buff from him. I 
I probably got temporarily buff him when hitting him. And then the, uh, I guess see who this guy is. Okay, Crusader, command Mr. Crusade guy, Elgorb Dombright is the one that says, "Heroes, you have saved us from <coughs> from Riverdale's wrath." Sorry, I had the sneeze. Oh wow, I actually got some uh, I got some stuff from the mailbox. That's funny. So is this guy gonna drop him out? Uh, yes, he does have a chance to drop him out. No, unfortunately, this guy did not drop his mount. This is Mr. Rivendare. Mr. Baron Rivendare. If you don't know who he is. Don't know who he is? His name is Mr. Baron Rivendare there he drops the uh i have to go into the instance thing because i can't remember that. death charges reigns yeah that yeah that name was easy to remember why well, then why i forgot that i don't know how i forgot that anyways thank you guys and girls so much for watching make sure to sincerely for your positive like comment and subscribe tap the notification bell try some actually cool and epic dope ass video videos and i'll see you do guys and girls in my next video peace out my fellow brothers and Sisters, yes, I'm gonna be exclusive. I'm gonna be inclusive. Yes, I like to be inclusive. I like it. I just like it. That's why. Anyways, peace out, my dude. To do that. Yeah, sure. Won't let the door hit me. On the way out. <laughs> oh yeah! Riverdale hype. Riverdale hype. Riverdale hype. What I was trying to say was, well, I'm gonna end it like this. Death charger hype. Death charger hype. Death charger hype. Oh yeah!